God bless you, church body, and all those that are watching. Uh, I'm so glad to be here along with my brother in Christ, Jimmy Cavazos. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Yes, we're so glad you're connected with us. And we want to tell you that anything is possible in God, no matter what's happening Amen. in God. Things Amen. can turn around when we put our faith in Him. So let us begin with a word of prayer. Father, we love you today. We come and we just give everything yes. that we are to yes. you. God, that you will continue to work in our lives and know that our God is a God of faith who is strong and faithful and control of all things. God, I thank you that so many times, Lord, in our lives, you've intervened and you turn things around for your good. So, Lord, we ask that you would be an encouragement in us and through us to those that need you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Listen, we want to begin with the book of 2 Samuel, chapter 23, verses 8, 9, and 10. David's mightiest warriors. Now, these are the names of David, mightiest warriors. This is verse 8. The first was uh, Jeho Jehoiabim, the Hemonite, or Hagmonite. Thank you. Just bear with me. That's why you need to read your Bible. Who, led, who was leader of the three. Yes. The three mightiest warriors among David's men. He once used his spirit to kill eight hundred enemy warriors in a single battle. Next, in rank among there was Eleazar, son of Dodai, the descendant of Ohoa. Once Eleazar and David stood together against the Philistines when the entire Israelite army had fled. He killed uh, the Philistines until his hand was too tired to lift his sword. And the Lord gave him a great victory that day. And the rest of the army did not return until it was time to collect the plunder. Amen? Amen. Brother Jimmy. Well, you know, this is Turnaround what? Turnaround Tuesday. Tuesday. So uh, many of you brothers and sisters have known about my life and so forth. So it was a turnaround in my life. And uh, when I read this story, I thought about the kingdom. And I thought about the kingdom men also. Amen. How Pastor... How these mighty warriors stuck close to their king. Amen. And so this is a picture of us men and women of God to stick close to our king. Amen. Jesus Christ. That's right. The mighty warrior, the word says that he what? He cleaved. He wouldn't let go of that sword. And this is the sword that God has given us. Amen. Promises. That's right. Feel for us. Many of you have heard my story how, you know, I came out out of prison. It was a turnaround. Out here in this world, next thing I know, I was walking. Next thing I know, I had a bicycle. Next thing I know, <laughs> I had a 2005 Buick. And uh, all that's gone. But the main thing was I had to keep close to God. Amen. A turnaround in my life. And we know that Jeremiah tells us that God's word tells us that for I know the plans. And he goes on and describes a good future, but it takes mighty men and women of God, Pastor, to take us through this journey, even in this time of pandemic. Right? We have to hold on no matter what. I think so many have gotten a hold of the word because of what's going on. Some have drifted. But we got to stay faithful. We have to be faithful because when others look at us, they got to see what's their left. Why should I hold on? And we just got to say, listen, when you hold on, if you continue in the Lord, if you hold on long enough, you will see him come through and turn and things he around. he always comes through. Always, pastor. always. Always. And we have to realize that during this time of pandemic, being mighty men of God and women of God, we have to realize that our home is a miniature church. Yes. We have to sit and get fed. Every time the door is open here, you know, live online, uh, like this turnaround Tuesday, yes. in the morning times, get fed uh, and just uh, be encouraged. Amen. You know, sharpen each other up and, yes. and, and God will take care of the rest for us. Hallelujah. Yes. It, it's, it's important that we understand that the kingdom of God is still alive, the kingdom of God is still in control, and that the Lord desires to show himself 
to us. Like you said, we have to keep, we have to keep the word. We have to take that word and hide yes, it yes. within us because uh, pandemic, the next day, it doesn't matter whatever comes in our day, whatever confronts us, it's what is keeping us. And that's the word of the living God. Yes. That is a sword that doesn't become dull. Oh. It's a it's sword a that always sharp. Yeah. And it does its work okay. physically, spiritually. God supplies all our needs as we trust him. We will see his hand every time. And you know, Pastor, one of the things that I've learned even in prison was it's always important to tie to the Lord, to give offerings to the Lord. Believe me, it works. He's promised yes. that what's $10 out of 100 just like earlier, you know, finding money in my Bible. Amen. And, and it was there from last year. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing, you Amen. know, but God works in ways that we don't even oh, turn around Tuesday. Yeah. Hey, listen, God is always at work, Brother Jimmy. God, guys, listen, God is always at work. When we're asleep, the spirit is moving. When, 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 uh, when we don't see things happening, can I tell you, God's kingdom is victorious through your life. We got to remain faithful. Amen. The kingdom Amen. is not asleep. The kingdom is not overwhelmed, but the kingdom is moving. And he's using us, sons and daughters, yes. to declare the name that is above every name. Listen, you have a story as well. You know what we're talking about. There were moments you were in, in, in a corner, you were in a situation, and so you know what, it's over. Things are not going to be different. But until Jesus' name Amen. was lifted up, until your eyes were lifted and said, you know what, God, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going to happen, but I know this, my faith. I keep it in your word. Faith come by hearing. Hearing the word of the Lord that is in Christ. I have learned when it seems like there's no way out. His word says, I will make a way where there seems to be to no, way. no way. Amen, Pastor. Yep, I've enjoyed this. Listen, we thank you. We hope that you're encouraged. We hope that you are lifted up today as you receive the word of encouragement through his word and stories. Brother Jimmy, my life, your life. Listen, you are a mess up, made a message to bring honor and glory to God. Because every one of you, there was not, maybe not a turnaround Tuesday. Maybe it was a turnaround Monday. Maybe a turnaround Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah. It doesn't matter. But it's just to make an emphasis. With God, all, all things, things are, are possible. possible. And in God, he can turn yes. everything around. We love you. God bless you. Thank you for joining us from Brother Jimmy and I. And to know that in Christ, all, all things, things are possible. possible. God bless, bless you. you.